2020 is our year of culture, which follows on from last year's year of physical activity. And I'm delighted that we are going to interweave our activities from last year into cultural well-being, which should really be in our DNA. A great example of this is happening at the Lister Hospital right now, where we have things like singing, uh, card making, uh, we've got supportive uh, dog therapy, and we've also got Mark, who in the cafe is playing his keyboard. And I think uh, recovery within the hospital setting will happen so much better if it is normalised through uh, cultural and social interaction. Well, we always want to provide the best possible care for the people in the community that we serve. And that is, of course, about providing the best possible nursing care and medical care. It's about making sure that our mortality rate is as low as possible and that technically we're doing things that we should be doing. But we also need to recognise the fundamental humanity of all of our patients. And that's where the work of Jane and the community comes in, actually. Uh, so Jane, as you know, arranges for musicians to come around the wards and in the, in the departments. We have pat dogs that come onto the wards to provide company. And we have therapists coming from local colleges to tend to the needs of our patients. And all of that's really important. It recognises the fundamental humanity of those that we're here to serve. But it also connects us with the community. Amazing. It's lovely. It's as lovely for us as it is for the patients and Mick and Dizzy are now part of the team and Monday afternoons are not the same when they don't turn up at two o'clock and the patients love it, um, especially for our patients that have been here for a long time because um, it kind of breaks their week up because they know it's Monday, they know Mick and Dizzy will be in and they look forward to it and it's kind of nice because Mick's really good with the patients and he's like, oh, are you still here and how are you doing? And so it's lovely and it's nice for us. Nice for us, as much for the patients with that hands on. So, yeah, we like it. We're very supportive of Jane, and Jane's fantastic. So happy to see the little dog. Yeah, it was lovely. I hope you come again, but I hope I'm not in here. <laughs> Well, thank you very, very much on behalf of all of us. We are very pleased and we welcome you again, but we also hope we're not here. My name's Jane Shaw. I'm the Patient Experience Project Coordinator here at the Lister Hospital. And I organise all sorts of different volunteers to come in and do uh, basically nice things around the hospital. So for example, we've got here a group of volunteers from Stevenage Day Service who have come in to uh, cheer up one of the gardens for us. And they come in uh, regularly to do a bit of gardening for us. Um, we also have volunteers who come in to do uh, beauty therapy sessions for our patients. We have dogs who come in as well to visit um, the wards. The patients and the staff really enjoy that. We um, also have people who come in and do craft activities with our patients and uh, we have quite a few musicians who come in as well to sing on the wards or play. And the whole idea of doing that kind of activity within the hospital is to try and make the hospital day a bit less tedious and stressful and more interesting and enjoyable for our patients because uh, research has shown that uh, involvement in the arts and also social interaction has a hugely positive impact on mental health and um, overall well-being and general health altogether and so it's our hope that by providing these little diversions during the day, these little highlights in our patients' lives, we're going to help to keep their mental state um, higher than it might otherwise be and uh, lead to um, better overall outcomes for our patients. been volunteering with, with Cupcake now for about four years. She was assessed as a therapy dog and had to pass some tests for that, which she did. The, the benefits to me 
have been unbelievable because I was medically retired from the ambulance service. I worked on London's frontline ambulances and I had to be medically retired and it now gives me a, a focus and an interest and the benefits are enormous for me. I still coming out, feel like I'm coming out and actually doing something worthwhile. It just brings a calmness to the patients and quite often if they're in hospital they've got maybe dogs at home that they're really missing. I, I know if I was in hospital and I couldn't see any of my dogs I, I'd be distraught. So it's nice that she can come in, they can say hello to her and pet her and you know, it just help, helps, I think.